You live in Phnom Penh. You live in New York City. But I think about you so, so, so. Um, it means to be very prideful in your culture. It means to understand it. Um, it also means to kind of find a balance between yours and the American culture. Um, not necessarily assimilating to either one, but just finding, you know, a balance. <laughs> For everybody, everybody have a different way of like how they view what's what's Cambodian American. And as for me, coming to college, it, it been like a mystery to me. But now I'm beginning to understand what what does it mean to be in Cambodian American. It means to like understand my roots, where where my parent came from, and also at the same time assimilating to the culture of America. And until I, I just I think it's taking both worlds and understanding like um, and how to balance it both out. We're understanding my parents and understanding the American culture and then just having this like this balance. It was sometimes it's really difficult for us and that's why it's sometimes hard for us to, to come together and see each other as fellow Cambodian American. And we just kinda of see it as just a, as we don't see it as eye to eye. Even though we're, we're, we're Cambodian American, we, we don't see, sometimes we don't see that cause until, until we understand our roots and also us just being an American and coming okay, together. For to me, to be Cambodian American is kind of a balance between traditional Cambodian, where you have your customs, such as respecting your elders, not speaking against your elders, or arguing against them, and finding your individuality as being an American. Like, like, like kind of stating your independence from the family, especially when you're in a college setting where you're forced to be independent and all of your life you've pretty much been dependent on the family. But also um, paying respect to your culture, not forgetting who you are and how much your parents have done for you just to get you here. It means identifying um, what our parents went through um, to come to this country and also still obtaining those same roots that they been able to pass on to us while traveling from the homeland to this new country and its opportunities and taking advantage of those. Being Cambodian American to me means to really understand and appreciate my own history, my culture, my roots, my background, and my identity, and really taking all these factors of my life and really creating and finding meaning and purpose with them because growing up as a Khmer American really is a challenge in itself because you have to deal with the fact that you don't feel fully connected to your own community and dealing with these negative misconceptions and stereotypes that is imposed on by society and what I feel that's most important um, about being Khmer American is that you shouldn't give in to these negative misconceptions or stereotypes, but to really work to understand and to educate yourself and others about our rich, beautiful culture and history in order for you to not only respect yourself and your family, but others as well. And this is something that we really need to address as Khmer Americans. For me, to be Cambodian American means that, you know, there's an understanding of obstacles that are set before you, basically. Um, your parents are coming here as refugees. It wasn't by choice. So your parents are coming here as refugees, and there's a whole bunch of these obstacles that um, you're faced with, you and your family are faced with. And to me, what it what stands out about Cambodian Americans or Khmer Americans is that we're such resilient people and you know like given given all these obstacles um, we're still overcoming them no matter how long it takes um, even if we know people who kind of fell through the cracks and whatnot people are still or are, us ourselves are still trying to you know not only be successful for ourselves, but bring our whole families, bring our friends with us as well. I didn't start to gain the sense of understanding and appreciating my own 
culture and my identity until I came to college and honestly college has really done a lot to me because I've gained a lot of new experiences and perspectives from others and it's a really beautiful thing and I used to feel that I couldn't really relate to others here at this university because as Cambodian Americans it's already hard enough for us to try to survive here in America and knowing how we're already underrepresented in the American system it's definitely hard to really find other Cambodian Americans on campus and I used to feel lonely here because there wasn't really a, group, a support group or a sense of community that I could turn to but once I found out about CAMSA and getting myself involved with CAMSA it really has opened a lot of doors for me. I gained a lot of unique life-changing, motivating experiences because I'm able to find this common ground with others coming from the same background, culture, and struggles and with this common goal of trying to promote our culture and our community and at the same time pursuing and achieving higher education and this really um, is a really big deal not only for me but my own community at large because it shows the strength that we have no matter how hard all these obstacles that are placed on in our life are and it really is a foundation for us to not only work to create change for ourselves but for future Khmer American generations yet to come.